Hey guys, some gamer dude here. So today we look at Aqua Force's Grade Threes. We have yet to see Diamantes, and by the way, all this week we're looking at Gift Grade Threes. But I'll do Diamantes when he comes out. Today we start with Naval Gazer Dragon. Your standard stats excel Grade Three, and on Vanguard as an auto when he attacks, if it is the third battle or more of that turn, so Wave Three Plus, cost Counterblast One, stand one of your regards, and this unit gains plus ten thousand until end of turn. Now that sounds kind of shitty with the front triggers but it's really not use oh, i'd honestly say title assault swing at vanguard soul blast one he stands back up swing with something else against i don't know regard doesn't matter use attack with this that second one stands back up front trigger everything against plus ten thousand uh naval gazer goes up to twenty two thousand unboosted and you just go from there i don't think it's a bad card at all the problem i have is how is this any freaking different from perfect riser really in reality how is this in combination with either Argos from the deck, or Algos, depending on your L or your R, or Tidal Assault from the set, how is this different to Nova Grappler? It's not. It's really not. And this is the problem I have with uh, how they've handled Aquaforce. I think it's a necessity in some points, but I don't like it. I think over time they've accepted that the circle switching of the original Aquaforce, you need certain interactions to make it work. It does work, Boucherode. Trust me, I, I played it heavily. I love it. It works. Uh, you're talking about someone who ran three Diamantes for a freaking long time and blessed felt blessed by a rascal sweeper ever coming out love that card it works and i don't like the recent thing not only does it take identity away from nova grappler but it, it just it, it it doesn't feel like the same claim to me and in the terms of other things it feels like it's the easy way out it doesn't require as much planning and thought and it it doesn't feel as interactive and fun but that's just my opinion and i'm sticking to it I'm one of the few people that actually do not like the original title assault because I like every attack in Aqua Force to be able to mean something. If it can't actually hit something for reasonable damage, why make the attack? Why not play something else? I get it, it's free, it's easy, whatever, whatever. But if they'd stuck to, I don't know, a generation break version of Basil that was basically Rascal Sweeper behind generation break, I think things could have been a little bit better, honestly. Anyway, uh, th that's just me and my opinions. So let's go to Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom. And this is more of what I wanted to see, but it's we'll get into other problems with I have with Aqua Force in this current paradigm. Standard stats, ugly picture, act, vanguard, once a turn, counterblast one, all of your units in the front row, includes himself, gains plus 3000 until end of turn. I actually really like this ability, this would have been great with the original Basil. This is probably, uh, quite a few sets too late. In all honesty, that's just my opinion. Auto, Vanguard Circle, once per turn. When your Regards attack hits a Vanguard, if this is the third or fourth attack of this turn, cost, discard two cards from your hand, stand this unit. Now, let's look at the logistics of this. Your Vanguard's probably going to attack, what, first or second wave uh, to get maximum efficiency. Uh, Tidal Assault is probably going to be the best thing to interact with this because it costs Soul, this costs Counter Blast. They're not going to conflict with each other or eat up resources like mad. So Separately, they're fine. Tidal Assault wants to go first, he stands back up, doesn't matter. Maelstrom attacks, uh, that's your second attack, transfer front trigger, this is where you'd want the front trigger to go off. Second and third attack, oh sorry, third and fourth attack go off, this is the only time when your opponent has to guard, realistically. This actually points me to Aqua Force actually wanting critical triggers, oddly enough. You have to give the Vanguard some reason to be guarded. Yes, you can attack multiple times, but your opponent can just go take the first one, take the second one, wall out the third and fourth one because they hit a trigger. I don't care. Less things for me to worry about. And even then, when you attack, and this if this goes off third or fourth, or let's say third because it's probably the best time for it to attack, you get the fourth attack out of it. Front trigger is going to be wasted. We all accept that. Front trigger is going to be wasted because so many things are already tapped out. I mean, it's a good cost and it doesn't actually cost you anything. No, there's no actual cost here. You're just pitching what you, well, you're hand filtering because you're not losing um, twin drive here. But it's got no pressure and uh, by itself, if you use front triggers and with front triggers, not everything's getting them. But without those front triggers, the ability for the opponent to stall you out by going, okay, well, you can't hit me because I defensive trigger checked. Well, what do you do then you boned 
There's a few things in Arkham Force that give power to come over this, but we'll see how it builds out. We might be able to get over this, but there is another problem with Arkham Force. I just can't help but get out of my head. I can't help but uh, it just sticks in my head. There's no drawing in this. There's no killing in this. It's just a retread of Nova Grub Block. We, we are aware of this, right? This is a retread, and I'm not particularly fond of it. Without those plus ones and minus ones to the opponent, Excel Clans really don't have a leg to stand on, because they have to spend more to use those Excel Circles than normal. They don't get cards back, they don't draw cards, etc, etc. Yes, they can make multiple attacks, but they're fragile. And this is why Tachikaze is so good at the moment, because it's, it draws cards. It's not fragile. It returns cards cards to the hand. It kills things. It's a good clan because it doesn't fear using the Excel Circle. It doesn't actually end up in a position where it's spent more than the opponent. Aqua Force has none of this yet and it's I'm honestly thinking it's going to be another Nova Grappler. Maybe a little bit better but not significantly so. Nova Grappler is pretty bad right now. At least in my opinion it's pretty awful. But uh, we still have about five, six cards to see out of Aqua Force. We haven't seen either of the triple rares. Maybe something will change. Hopefully it does. But I am hopeful. I'm really not hopeful. And this is honestly pushing me to play the old game again. Anyway, this has been some gamer dude. More than a little disappointed. And I'll see you guys next video.